the plastic bag, had its heyday in the 1970s. They were marketed as a cheaper, stronger alternative to paper bags. And they were everywhere. But since then, plastic bags have started to pile up. Now, there are about 8 million tonnes of them just in our oceans. Each bag weighs less than a gram. Think about that. It's a huge problem. Turtles and other sea creatures mistake them for food, which can choke them or block their stomachs. And they smother coral reefs. But that's just the damage we can see. Plastic bags can take more than 500 years to degrade. And as they do, they release tiny pieces of degraded plastic, called microplastics. These are consumed by smaller animals in the ocean, and then they're eaten by bigger animals, including humans. Plastic becomes part of the food chain. So maybe paper bags were the better option all along. You see, it's not that simple. Paper bags are generally biodegradable, so they break down more easily, which means they don't build up in the oceans and other ecosystems like plastic bags. But according to the UK's Environment Agency, the problem is paper bags take four times as much energy to manufacture as plastic ones. They're heavier too, which means transporting them takes more energy. So you need to use a paper bag at least three times for it to equate to a single use of a plastic bag. And let's not forget millions of trees have to be cut down every year to make paper bags. So we know paper bags hurt the trees and plastic bags hurt the fishies. What's the alternative? Reusable bags are the way forward, provided you hold onto them and use them often. You need to use a cotton bag at least 131 times to ensure it's worth its environmental impact. But to do that, you need to remember to take it with you when you go to the store.